Here's a brief overview. Ensure that the basic ABCs of airway breathing and circulation are intact prior to any splinting activity. Expose any injured areas. Observe skin color and symmetry. Assess and document pulse, motor, and sensory function. The EvacuSplint pediatric mattress operates in the same manner as the full-size EvacuSplint mattress, but there are a few modifications that you should be familiar with when using the pediatric vacuum mattress. The straps of the pediatric mattress come straight across the patient and do not zigzag down the patient. Note, the pediatric EvacuSplint mattress only has one valve at the foot end of the mattress. Lay the EvacuSplint pediatric mattress out on a flat surface near the patient. The teddy bear logo indicates the head end of the mattress. Remove the red vinyl leashed cap from the valve. Release any vacuum in the mattress by pushing in the red valve stem. Keep the valve stem pushed in until the mattress is pliable. Evacuate enough air to make the mattress semi-rigid. Manually smooth out the beads to form a level surface. Connect the pump to the mattress by fastening the pump hose to the maxi valve on the mattress. If you're using a vacuum pump, use the portable suction adapter or PSA and attach that to the maxi valve on the mattress. The objective is to be able to move the mattress as a unit during positioning and have the beads stabilized enough to place the patient under the mattress without pushing the beads to one side. With the correct amount of evacuation, the mattress surface should be smooth but not excessively dimpled. Because of the anatomical differences between adults and children, the child's torso usually needs to be elevated so that their cervical spine remains in neutral alignment. If the patient's head is flexed, simply make a slight depression under the occipital region of the child's head. The amount of depression can easily be changed depending on the size of the child's head in relation to their body. This helps place the child in neutral alignment and does not require the child to be repositioned once they are placed on the surface of the pediatric mattress. The injured child should be log rolled or lifted onto the vacuum mattress in accordance with the procedures established by your local EMS medical director. Once the child is properly positioned, the straps can be secured and the mattress evacuated. Care should be taken to minimize any movement of the patient during the application and securement of the vacuum mattress. The straps of the pediatric mattress come straight across the patient and do not zigzag down the patient. It also allows an individual strap to be unfastened while keeping the other strap secured. This could be beneficial for physicians that need to examine a particular area of the child while still keeping the child securely immobilized. Use of a rigid cervical collar should be a decision made by your local medical director. Medical grade adhesive tape, either 1 inch or 2 inch in width, can be used to secure the forehead of the patient in the vacuum mattress. Visit us on the web, www.pencare.net, or give us a call at 800-392-7233.